This tutorial shows how students review quiz results after the online quiz is submitted. At the end of a quiz, you have the option to show result slides to your users based on whether they passed or failed the quiz. In most cases, you'll want to enable the same options for both pass and fail slides, but sometimes you may want to provide a different result for pass and fail. The quiz review option is available as a button on the result slides and allows your users to navigate back through the quiz and see which answers they got correct, incorrect, and partially correct. Let's see what this looks like. I'm going to get this question right, this question wrong, and this question partially correct. And since we enabled the result slide, we'll go there right now. The Print Results button is available because I checked that option here. And since I checked Enable Detailed Results, I can see them here in this list. It shows my correct, incorrect, and partially correct answers, plus the number of points I was awarded, and the total possible points. I also enabled Quiz Review so I can go back through my quiz step by step. This radio button indicates the answer I selected. And since I enabled Show Correct Answers, the green checkmark indicates the correct answer as well. This next question shows the difference between my choice and the actual correct answer. And the multiple response question shows the incorrect answer that I selected and the correct answer that I missed. You can select any number of these options for the highest possible educational impact on your quiz takers. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.